Hey, what's up guys? Friendly developer here. Today, let's solve a small little problem on diagonal traversal of the tree. Uh, the problem is to find the sum of all the diagonals in the binary tree. So we do a diagonal traversal of the binary tree and at the end of each diagonal, we uh, print the sum at that diagonal and we reset the sum to zero and uh, after each diagonal uh, is done with traversing we print its sum so uh, considering this example 1 plus 3 plus 5 is uh, 9 we print 9 after we, we are done with traversing this diagonal and in the next line we print 2 plus 6 plus 4 plus 7 that is 19 and so on okay let's implement the solution uh, in the previous video, we looked into the iterative way of uh, traversing in a diagonal manner of the binary tree. So we, uh, we shall implement the same kind of traversal using queues. Okay. So we take a queue and we, uh, for every node, we push its left child onto the queue and uh, we set the current node to point to the right child of every node until the right child becomes empty so when right child becomes empty uh, we pop the front end of the queue and set that as the current node and we continue okay fine let's take a queue of nodes and uh, let's push the root node onto the queue first now let's take the current pointer initially the current pointer is null so oh, let's do a level order traversal while the queue is not empty we shall do our level order traversal so, so we check here if my queue uh, current node is empty at some point in time we shall pop the front element of the queue okay and once we are done with that, every time we need to uh, add the current nodes data into some sum variable. So this is my sum value. Let's initialize it, start with zero. And every time my sum value gets incremented by the data of the current node. Okay, now we add the current node's left child onto the queue. If at all, it's not empty. Uh, okay, so if current child, current left node is not empty, we push it to the queue. And we set current node to point to the right child of the node. Now to check uh, whether we have reached the end of the current diagonal or not, we can uh, try checking if my current is null, but uh, that wouldn't work for this case here where the current will become null even for a uh, right child of 6. Okay, so what we can do is we can keep a count of the number of nodes, the number of uh, uh, nodes at the beginning of any traversal of any uh, diagonal so initially when we uh, switch to the second diagonal initially the queue size is 2 because uh, one's left child which is 2 we have added and three's left child 4 both 2 and 4 are in the queue so initially the count is 2 so that means um, my current uh, reference will point to null two times in this queue, uh, in this diagonal. So we need to keep a track of this count value. Okay, so let's initially, we, we shall start with the count value of one, assuming that uh, the root value starts with a count of one, the, uh, so that it proceeds for the first diagonal and whenever my current uh, pointer points to null I decrement this count 
okay so here we check if my count is zero and my current node becomes null when my current node becomes null and the count has reached zero then i know that um, my current node is pointing to the end of the current diagonal so we just print out the sum value print the sum value and reset the sum value back to zero and we again move uh, initialize the count with the size of the queue so this size of the queue indicates the uh, number of elements for the corresponding to the next diagonal in the tree so initially when we are at the first queue uh, i mean the first diagonal the queue size will be 2 because we have added 2 and 4 Similarly, once we are done with printing the sum value at the end of second diagonal, the Q value will be 3 because 9, 11 and 12 are added to the Q since they are the left child, left children of all these nodes. Okay, so that is how we implement and let's copy this solution and let me paste this solution here. Compile and test. And it seems I have missed to print a new line character. Okay. Let's submit and. Okay, that is how you find the diagonal sum of a binary tree. Now, talking about the time complexity here. Uh, time complexity is equal to big O of n because uh, there are n nodes and each node we are visiting only once while we are doing the diagonal traversal uh, and the space complexity is uh, big O of let's say k where k is the maximum number of left left links from all these nodes at any particular diagonal okay so uh, here considering the second diagonal the maximum number of links are this and uh, the link from 6 to 11 and the link from 4 to 12 so 2 to 9 6 to 11 and 4 to 12 these three links uh, which correspond to all those 9 11 and 12 nodes are being added to the queue so the space complexity is big of k, where k is the maximum number of left links considering any diagonal. Okay, uh, this is about uh, the a sample problem on diagonal traversal. Hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next time.